Welcome back to the channel. I want to try something a little different. This is on my actual phone. I don't have my camera on me. I will later, but I just want to take a couple shots and see how this turns out. If it turns out nicer, then maybe I'll just use my phone a little bit more often. But remember my last video, I did the wheels on the Civic and I definitely, definitely need camber, uh, camber arms because the back tires for some reason stick in and it touches the struts. So I got to order them up. I haven't even ordered them. I think I'm going to go with True Heart and that's about $400, $500. So it's a lot of money to spend, but it's not really that much. So I just got to order them up. But in the meantime, I want to paint the headers on it. After doing that cat delete in that black, it just looks so good. So I want to do the headers in that black too. Except the problem is I don't have enough to do the headers. I have a little bit, but it's unfortunately just not enough. So I got to run to the city and pick them up quick. Okay, so let me know if you like that better than this. This is my camera. The other one was my, my phone camera. Today's Sunday. It's beautiful outside. I got the garage door open. The heater is finally off. But you can see I got such a mess to clean up. This is all stuff that was sitting in the van. But first thing I got to do is bring the Civic in and paint the headers because that takes like 24 hours to dry, if not more. So bring the Civic in, prep it, paint it. And while that dries, clean everything. I, I got lots of stuff to do today. I want to mow the lawn. It's so nice out. So I'm thinking that my plan with this is just take the header and the downpipe all in one, pull the whole thing out, paint the whole thing, and then put it back in rather than trying to take it apart, paint it, put it back in, risking scratching a bolt or something like that, like, because you got the bolts in between here. So just avoid that, just pull the whole thing out, put the whole thing in. The only thing I'll take off is the sensor. Out of every single bolt I took off, only one stud came out, and it got me thinking, I should replace these with something else. I know they make some really, really nice ones with like some anodized red or anodized blue or anodized gold or whatever you want, but anodized red uh, washers on. So I think I might have to replace these with those. For the time being, I'm gonna throw these back in, but like if it comes off that easy, I'm gonna put new ones on. It's funny, cause I only have these headers on for, I did winter drive it, so I guess that would count, but probably I wanna say about eight, months maybe 10 months i'll double check i'll leave that video in one of these corners i never remember which one but like surprisingly from like here up it's still shiny but like obviously it's it's faded like crazy and then from here down it's it's not horrible rust it's like it's all surface rust it sands off but like it's pretty bad but i guess that's why they recommend you either get like ceramic coated or you paint it with something like vht the very high temperature paint i learned my lesson the hard way don't do that or put it on, drive it, get that coat off, and then put the VHT paint on it. But now it's pretty much literally just sand it, clean it, hang it, and paint it. Like I'm not gonna paint it lying down. I'm, so many people do that, I don't know why. Hang it up so you can get all the way around it. A time lapse was set for about 30 minutes and it took a little bit over 30 minutes to actually do this whole thing nicely. I started off with just a scratch pad and it kind of worked, it kind of didn't, it, it worked, but it wasn't great. So what I did was I got one of these scotch pads. It's not a scotch pad, it's more like a, a scratch. It's like sandpaper, but it's like a scuff pad. This is not something you're gonna go to like Canadian Tire or wherever and pick it up. Like this is more of a, an actual auto body thing so like i would recommend going to something like bestman or rondex or wherever like like a professional body shop supply company and like everywhere's got it because everywhere has body shops but that worked really good 
The problem was, or it wasn't really a problem, this was actually a little bit more rusty than I expected it to be, so I actually took this out and I ran it around on the bench grinder. And I'm just gonna put some new thread lock in, just put it back in, because I never, ever, ever need to use this. It's just the one up here that I need. But anyways, it's pretty much time to just blow off and clean really good and hang it and shoot it. Like, there's it, not really a whole lot of prep when it comes to this. Pretty much just scuff it and shoot it. Actually spraying it is what takes a long time because you need to go through the two or three coats of primer and then the two or three coats of paint to plus or, mi plus or minus if you need more or less like if it covers really good then you probably only need two I'd probably recommend three anyways and if it's not covered enough then I probably put four or five even six on it's not gonna hurt by putting more It's just you got to put it on thinner layers and wait a little bit more between dry times so you don't get runs I would like to retract one of my earlier statements. I was saying, why doesn't everyone just hang these? And I could kind of see why people don't hang them. The small, the biggest thing I have lying around here is the ladder and it only sits about this high off the ground and the headers are probably about two feet tall by the time you hang them. So you don't really get a good chance to get underneath it. So the thing I did differently than everyone else is I propped up this side so I can get underneath it really good. Like this is what you see. So this is the most important thing. From here down is all underneath the car. You will never see this. This is all you see and only the face of it. But I would like to try and get the underneath of it so it doesn't rust away. Well, here goes nothing. Everything's clean, everything's shooken up. It's ready to go. This is exactly what happens when you try to rush, which I, I didn't try to rush. I just tried to put a little bit more product on for better protection and I got a couple runs, but they're on the bottom pipe. So I don't think I'm even gonna bother with it because like, like I said earlier, you don't see the bottom pipe once in the car. I'll probably just leave it. A little bit more protection. That's, uh, that's all it is. That's all a run is. It was weird. Just as I was saying, it's beautiful outside. Listen to the birds, the sun shining. It literally started hailing. Like, black clouds came over in within seconds. The black clouds came. De torrential downpour rain, and it started hailing. And I remember my signs outside. So I've quickly gotten in the Quonset. My car's safe. And like, literally a minute after I got my sign in, the sun's back out, so I'm like, ah, oh, come on. But here we have everything. I hit it with a third coat and I like let it dry. It's, I think it's been like an hour since the last time I did this. So I picked it up, looked around. There's no spots that don't have any primer. So there's no reason that this should rust. But like I said, that was about an hour ago. So now I'm just shaking up this can. This thing's ready to go on. Okay, next day, no, two days? I think it's been two days since I did the headers. They actually turned out really good. I had to do a little bit of touch up paint. Not a big deal, it's drying right now. And obviously I'm in my work clothes, I'm dirty because I gotta take out the test pipe that we did in the last video. So I gotta get underneath the car. Take out the test pipe so we can put the stock cap back on it. You can't see it, but like I actually like sanded down all the rust and I painted it with that uh, heat black paint. Like the heat shield is in the way, but like it's painted, it's protected, it's not really gonna rust. Not that I'm really worried about it rusting, but whatever. So get rid of the test pipe, and then hopefully by then it should be dry enough that I can put the headers back on, and that's pretty much it. Super, super simple.
of course I pull out the headers, get them ready to put on, and I notice a bald spot where not much paint got, and I'm like, eh, whatever, you barely see it. And then I was like, I'm gonna know that's there. So I ended up kind of, kind of giving the whole, not the whole thing, but like the top half a light coat. Like I put it a little bit heavier where the bald spot was, and I kind of just blended out the whole thing very lightly and like, Damn, does this look amazing. But the problem is now it's wet. It's supposed to dry for three hours, which is handling time. I'm not gonna wait three hours. I'll probably wait maybe 20 minutes, half an hour maybe. And I'll probably just hold it a little bit more from the bottom side and I'll slowly put it in. Maybe I'll grab it from the bottom and pull it down while carefully putting it in place. Cause I don't wanna wait another three hours before putting this on. But seriously, 100% honest opinion, put it in the comments. Me personally, I think this looks dead sexy. The bright, bright VTech head, whatever color, blah, 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 wrinkle paint against the matte black. You can see it's it's a little glossy here because it's it just needs some time to dry, but ooh, that looks so good. And then the little oil catch can. And then I think I wanna do the fuel rail, like the anodized red, I haven't quite decided yet. But seriously, take like eight seconds, go in the comments, every single one of you watching this video, go in the comments and let me know what you guys think of this. The black on red, oh, that looks so good. But now I got this painted with the high temp black paint. I got the cat painted with the high temp black paint, even though you don't really see it. I'm strongly debating on doing the world's cheapest cat back exhaust system with this high temp paint. I haven't decided yet. That exhaust has been on my car for well over a year. No leaks, no nothing, no problems. So what was it, like $130 or $120 or something like that for the world's cheapest catback exhaust system and it actually worked. I'll put that here or here or wherever. I, I, I never remember, I can never remember. But I guess now that that's in the car, I'll just let it dry really good overnight. Hopefully tomorrow, like it's just been gloomy all day today. So hopefully tomorrow it's nicer out get some great shots outside and I don't know, drive it around because I know the thing has to get up to running temperature a couple times just to permanently, or not permanently, but like really make it harden up. I'm rambling as always. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I'm having some trouble finishing this video. Now, as you guys just saw in the last clip, I got the headers in the car and it recommends sitting for at least 24 hours before running it. And then once, once it dries after 24 hours, you start it for 10 minutes then you let it sit for 20, then you start it for 20, and you let it sit for 20, and then you get it up to running temperature and drive it around for half an hour, and then let it completely cool down. So what I did was I let it sit for about three days, three or four days, it just sat in the garage, and you guys saw, I prepped it properly, I did everything exactly how I should have, I sprayed everything how I should have, primer, couple coats of primer, couple coats of the high temp paint, everything was done right, and unfortunately this is what happened to it now you guys can see it first and for some reason this is only the top half of the headers the bottom half is fine the catalytic converter is fine it's only the top half of the headers so i'm wondering if somehow because i mentioned like the bottom half was rusty so i'm wondering if some of that factory coating or or some sort of contamination got on the top half of the headers but every there's four piece or four parts that come out for the four uh, cylinders pistons whatever and all four of them are peeling back so i have no idea what to do so it's just it's just peeling off and it came off in big chunks and the video i took they weren't really coming off in chunks because all the big chunks already came off but now like the only thing i could really do to it would be like because there's so much there's so much that's peeling like the only thing i could really think would be like actually sandblasting it off because that would take you forever to just hand sand that off so i'm, I'm thinking like sandblasting would be the way to go unfortunately but but that's where I'm going to end the video today, unfortunately. So, I mean, it's cool. I got it painted, but at the same time, it's a bummer because, like, now now it just makes it hard to go to a car show and pop the hood when you got your headers peeling back. But it is what it is. You don't always win. Anyways, like I literally just said, I'm rambling a lot. So make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment, and make sure you guys subscribe. That means so much to me. Like, this year, I know it's been a slow year already, but, like, we're going, we're going, and it's, it's going good. So subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Are you ready?